Let's go, 15 powerful effects to supercharge your After Effects skills and level up your editing career for my 15 years of using After Effects. All right, I used to love the CC ball action effect to create a quick field of particles, but now you can use this to turn your footage into a field of 3D particles by setting the grid spacing to zero and adding keyframes for displays and twist angle, you can easily create this sick particle effect. Moreover, one of the most used effects that every editor must know is the 3D camera tracker effect. Just plop this bad boy onto your footage, let it analyze, and look for a plane around the area that you want to stick a graphic, and I don't mean airplane. Or just right click and create a Nolan camera. Make your graphic a 3D layer and then copy the position of the null object to your graphics position, and now you're ready to be a drone enthusiast. So today, the fastest way to implement a glitch effect is with the VR digital glitch effect. You can easily glitch out your projects by adjusting the distortion settings and color to give you a fast glitch and the adrenaline you need. Now, you can try CC Cylinder when you want to wrap graphics around objects or if you just need circular graphics. So create your graphic to have a long width composition and place that comp into your main composition. <laughs> then you can use the CC Cylinder effect by setting the render to outside and just animate the rotation Y. Then you can duplicate your layer, place it underneath say an object, and set the render to inside for the circular edit. Now, the Roto Rush is not necessarily an effect, but it's just so good now that I have to mention it. To use this, double click your footage, grab that handy Roto Brush, and paint over the areas of your footage that you want to remove from the background, and then move your playhead forward or back to let After Effects separate your objects helping you make amazing composites with stock elements or anything that you may have. Also, to help you with your edits, be sure to get my free 100 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro and transform yourself into a rock star creator. We also have full seamless transition packs for your edits and animation presets allowing you to never animate again. So be sure to get my free pack and revolutionize your post-production workflow. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. But now anytime you need to add a touch of cinematic light to your graphic or say title, use the old light sweep effect. Just animate the center to crawl this light beam by your graphic and mess with the settings to use this classic effect, which is still very relevant today. To add a further cinematic touch to your graphics, try using the noise and posterize effects together on an adjustment layer. Slightly increase the noise and turn off use color noise and then mess with the posterize level to add a slight style, which is better than turning your hat backwards. When used correctly, the glow effect can further your cinematic prowess by usually increasing the glow radius, and then you can duplicate the glow effect and increase the radius even further until your heart and graphics are blooming with joy. Don't you just hate it when your footage is just too stable and you need some camera shake? Just the best problem to have, right? Well, you can call on the motion tile effect and alt click the stopwatch for tile center, and then use the wiggle expression to add the shake you desire, then check mirror edges and slightly scale your footage to add your camera shake. Additionally, if your footage was filmed with virtually no motion blur, well, you can add it back in with CC Force Motion Blur. Mainly by adjusting the shutter angle parameter, you can easily dial in the blur amount, and this effect is also great for fast paced distortion. Now, of course, for the best overall distortion effects, you can try CC Lens, Turbulent Displace, and Optics Compensation. Now, all these effects have something unique to offer, but they will easily allow you to fully distort your projects with just a few parameters. Additionally, if you want to create a stop motion-esque effect, posterize time allows you to lower the frame rate of any object, allowing you to keep your smooth graphics overlaid on top of your trippy ones. Now on a serious note, Echo is just one of those effects that I hold close to my heart. With Echo, you can easily create duplications on anything that is moving. So you can create like a ghosting effect or just duplicate your graphics. But to use this, you can slightly offset the echo time, increase the number of echoes, and then try lowering the decay. Now, there's a lot of great blur effects, but the best is arguably camera lens blur. The reason being is that it allows for the most natural lens blur by allowing you to change the out of focus settings to match your actual lens properties. Also, if you work with real 3D right here in After Effects, this effect enables you to work with depth maps to create that native 3D camera blur. All right, the last effect that no After Effects user will be able to avoid is CC Particle World. Personally, this is my go-to for randomly duplicating graphics or creating cinematic intros, for instance. 
you can change the particle type to a textured quad polygon and set the texture layer to your graphic and boom unlimited particles with unlimited possibilities subscribe to be the best and always be creating